What's up, sticks and hacks? My name's Dallas. I am the developer and avid user of the Tangent Golf app, and today I'm gonna show you how I use the app on the golf course. Before I play, the first thing I like to do is put my devices in do not disturb mode. Now you can do that quickly from your watch or from your phone. I don't like to get annoying emails or app notifications or text messages when I'm playing. I like to focus on golf. So we'll just swipe down, put focus on, do not disturb, and now I'm good to go. You can always set it to override do not disturb for important calls so that they come through, but I like to be distraction free. With that, I can start my round, put my phone away, and play golf. All right, so we're all set up and ready to go here at Woodbridge Golf Course. So I'm gonna go ahead and fire up the Tangent Golf app. We're gonna go to golf. We'll choose Woodbridge, choose the tees we're playing, playing social, stroke play, starting on hole one, ready to go. The app will go ahead and fire up, bring up the golf course. The app automatically fires up the Apple Watch and we're good to go. I think the best kind of golf app is one that you don't even notice until you need it. So now that the round started, we'll put the phone away and fire away. Quick glance at the caddy, it says we're hitting driver up the right hand side. The Tangent app is smart enough to only record one swing from each location. So take as many practice swings as you need. When you're ready, step up and hit with confidence. A little skinny, but right down the right hand side. Notice the caddy suggestions changing in real time as you progress through the golf course. Our footprint technology tracks your path, making predictions as to where you hit shots and indicating the distance from your last swing. This is useful if you're looking for a lost ball or bragging about that long drive with your buddies. So with a course I'm familiar with like Woodbridge, I'll typically walk up to my ball and just give a quick glance at the yardages for front, middle, back. That's a front pin. I'll change it in the app to be a front pin. We'll go look at the caddy and the caddy suggesting into the wind that it plays like 137 and to hit a pitching wedge. So that's what I got in my hand and now I'm ready to go. Don't have to pull my phone out. Now I can swing away with confidence. Lock that a little to the right, a little short, on to the next. Notice that as I progress through the golf course, I'm not pulling out my phone constantly or even interacting with the watch. I'm letting it do the heavy lifting in the background. All right, we didn't get all that, came up a little short. Now Tangent will even pick up a lot of these short chips. They're about 20 yards. Front pin, this is a tough little shot. I'm gonna try to land it just on the apron. Kick down to the hole. Little short, oh no. Not ideal, a little chunky. Work to do. On these fringe shots, you might wanna change it to a fairway putt so that it doesn't attribute the shot to your wedge. That's easy to do. You'll just oh, tap on tracking. the shot that was tracked and then change the lie to fairway putt. putt. I think. All right, now that I'm done with the hole, I can usually mark my score right as I walk off the green or while other people putt. So I'll just mark score. I one putted there from three feet. You can also turn that to simple putt with short, medium, long. It's already predicted that I had a five and hit the fairway, done. And now my score is marked before I even get to the cart, saving me time. Once you enter your score, Tangent will turn that score into shots and those shots into stats. You can tap the whole button to see the scorecard at any time. Here's some additional watch features. Tapping on the shot detected icon where it shows the club will bring up the shot details. It is here that you can do things like change club if you did not use the caddy suggestion, add strike quality, particularly for poor shots, change the lie if needed to recovery or fairway putt for fringe shots, or add a mental scorecard, or even get real dug in by logging things like lie details for slope or trajectory details to track the shot shape and trajectory of how the ball went through the air and if it was as intended. This is all optional, but useful for the detail oriented. From the main screen, you can swipe left and right to change modes, like the points of interest view that allows you to see distances to different locations on the hole you are playing. Here, you can manually add a shot or mark the pin location for the hole you are playing to improve the caddy suggestions. Keep swiping left to find the shot table of all the shots captured so far. You can select one to edit it. Or swipe one more time to see the map of the hole where you can quickly look for hazards or other trouble on a hole you are unfamiliar with. From the main watch screen, you can tap on the hole button to see your current scorecard, scroll through the different holes, or tap on a hole to change your current hole. 
Swiping right eventually gets you to the caddy mode with club suggestions and a plays like yardage to the pin to take into account weather and elevation. Tapping on the club here will alternate between optimal and more risky suggestions if you're feeling aggressive. When you're done with the round or at the 19th hole, you can again tap the hole button to scroll through the scorecard. Make sure to make any edits you might need to make and then exit via the menu to see the round summary. At the top of the round summary, you'll see coachable moments. It's always good to review your three worst shots and capture any notes on what happened. If you can learn and improve your three worst shots from round to round, you'll start shooting better scores. Tap anything that applies and the coach will walk you through the key takeaways. The best way to lower scores is to hit more greens. The round summary will walk you through why you miss greens and how you're doing relative to your handicap target. I like to dive straight into strokes gained to see what area my game needs work based on the day's effort. Today, it was putting. Tapping on the putting bar lets me shortcut to the putting analysis where I just didn't make any mid-range putts and I had a three putt. If you enable putt details like I do, you can scroll to see an analysis of your green reading. From here, it's obvious that I underread and left putts short. The greens were slopey and slow. Make sure to tap recommendations on key metrics to see personalized suggested drills to work on based on your performance and tap add to to-do list to add them to the menu shortcut. You can revisit any section and dive into driving performance and distances, approach misses, etc. and get as detailed as you want. Accelerate your path to better golf with Tangent.